So, my name is Prince Antwi. Um, for people that have never seen any of my stuff, uh, I'm just a young, young, young guy, man, trying to do something creative, like having people uh, tell their stories and also doing like some photography. Um, YouTube is something that I'm really trying to do to, to make it and to really just to occupy my time because I was really spending a lot of my time not doing anything, anything productive. And I have a job where I'm making money to take care of my bills, but it's not anything that I really like doing. So I stumbled up on YouTube, um, watching a bunch of videos. Um, for a long time, I always thought that I could create my own videos one day, but I always thought it was too hard to, to edit or to learn how to edit. So I never, I never really tried because I thought it was gonna be too hard. Uh, until I bought my first camera, I bought my Canon M50, because I looked online and watched a couple videos and they said that if you really wanna start a YouTube video, and if you're a beginner, invest in a Canon M50 because with that camera, you can really learn a lot that you need to learn very quickly and it can mostly do everything that you want to do. So um, that's why I started is with a Canon M50. Um, once, I, once I got my Canon, I also bought the Rode Wireless Go 2 um, to use as my microphone. And that combo really did a lot for me because I was able to start a couple channels. Even before I knew what I was doing, I just started some channels, you know, I started using the mic to interview people and stuff like that. And also learning things about the camera. Like I never knew what ISO was, never knew what aperture was, never knew what shutter speed was. You know, I didn't know any of that stuff, but with time I was able to learn, learn everything. And I was able to use what I've learned to, to, to my benefit. Um, because with time, I've learned how to edit as well. Um, I invested in Final Cut Pro. Now, once I got that, I was able to, to really start my journey because at first I was using iMovie when I first got my MacBook. So I was able to start editing and, you know, I found my way and I learned everything relatively quickly. And after starting those channels, you know, I had a couple mishaps, had a couple things go wrong that pissed me off, but you know, it was all a learning experience because it made me who I am today, you know. Um, definitely, definitely made me who I am today because I wasn't afraid to start or afraid to go out there or go out of my comfort zone and be in people's faces and interviewing people and just a bunch of stuff that I've done in the past that it really helped me a lot because now I know damn near everything, you know? I know everything um, to the point where I bought a new camera. And that's when you know you really have made that, that next step is when you purchase your, your second camera. Um, I was able to buy a, a Sony a7 IV. I bought a new lens. I bought a 70 to 200 lens. So I was able to use those two and really start my street photography stuff. I also bought a, a GoPro Hero 10. Wow. I was able to buy a GoPro Hero 10 and um, start some POV shooting. 
because GoPro Hero 10 shoots in 4K, uh, 30 frames per second. So it was definitely a good purchase. Everything that I bought has helped me. I haven't wasted any money. So I've really come a long way. And now that I have the Sony a7 IV, I'm able to do stuff that I thought I could never do. Like shooting interviews and stuff in 4K and just, I've really come a long way, man, for real. And even when I tell people about what I got going on, they always so excited and always want to join or always ask me a bunch of questions on how they can, they can start their journey. So it's definitely been a blessing, man. Definitely something that I'm glad that I learned, something that I'm glad that I tried, you know. And it's YouTube is something that, you know, I know a lot of people's journey is trying to get as many subscribers as they can or whatever the case may be. But my main thing is doing something that will get me out of the house, which is my POV shooting. Every time I do my street photography, photography stuff I'm always very happy because it gets me out of the house and I'm able to go walk around and just see my surroundings you know because a place like DC where I'm at today I never come here I never used to come here but now I come here all the time you know I come here to shoot all my videos I come here to sometimes sit and do nothing. You know, I walk around all the monuments just to just to just to walk around and just sightsee. You know, I used to just be in my house all the time and not do anything, but now I'm always out. You know, I'm always out the house. I'm always shooting, you know, and another thing that I started was also my storytelling episodes which I only have one so far. This is gonna be number two, episode two. And um, yeah, man, it's just been a blessing. Just, just, just learning everything. And I hope that it continues because I just need a couple more people just to be willing to tell their stories. You know, a lot of people are sometimes a little hesitant because they don't know who's gonna see the video or um, just scared to get on camera. But if you're really pushing a positive message out there, it doesn't really matter who's going to see the video, man, or who, or whatever your fear is. It doesn't really, like, you got to conquer that fear by just going out there and just doing it. So anybody that's willing to tell their story, Anybody that's willing to tell their story, I'm always very open to to helping them. You know, even if it's not for my channel, you know, if they just want me to be their cameraman so that they can tell their story and I can edit it for them and and, and give it to them, you know, I, I would enjoy that too. You know, because this filming stuff and photography stuff, I'm not even, I don't even plan on charging anybody any money. Honestly, because people, if, if I if I tell somebody, oh, I want to film a video for you, and um, the first thing they're going to ask me is how much, I'm going to tell them for free. You know, I don't really need people's money, you know, that's not really why I started doing this, it's just for the purpose of storytelling, man, so that people can know that you've been through something and they can, maybe can relate, and maybe they'll be able to share their story for the next person. So I'm just really hoping that people are willing to share and willing to get on. And if they are, I always, um, I always put their info on there or their, at least their name, just so that, you know, if somebody's really interested in them, they can follow them on Instagram or whatever the case may be. So yeah, I'm just hoping that more people will be willing to come share their story. Like I said, episode one is already out. This is probably gonna be episode two, you know? Just me, just me telling my story. So this might be episode two right here. 
because I've also been a lot. I've been, I mean, I've also been through a lot, you know? Young kid coming from Ghana to New York, and then my, my, my peoples, you know, end up breaking up. And my mom becomes a single mom, you know, and that was tough for my childhood, but you know, it made me the man I am today. So it's, 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 it's really, it's really a crazy story when I think about it, you know? My dad did 15, 15 years in the pen, and he got out. You know, now me and him are best friends. You know, we talk all the time. Uh, when, I, when I get to see him, it's like the best thing ever, you know? So I've been through a lot. Also went to college, got me a bachelor's degree in uh, criminal justice. And that, that's probably one of my biggest mistakes was going to college. I'm not saying that going to college isn't good, but that shit costs a lot of money, man. For real. And I didn't really, at the time, I didn't really understand the fact that you, you got to pay that money back, man. <laughs> I didn't really understand that, oh, when you go to school, no matter what, you got to pay that money back to the government or whatever loans you took out to cover a semester or whatever balance you had at the end, you gotta pay that shit back. I'm not gonna lie, if it wasn't for that, I would have a lot of money right now. But because of that mistake right there, you know, I'm paying hundreds of dollars every month out of my pocket to pay back the loans and the degree that I got. I mean, it's helped me get my job that I got today you know, but I don't know, I feel like I could have done without that shit. But something like photography and videography, I, I could have learned how to do that when I was 18 or younger than that. And I probably wouldn't have went to school. I wouldn't have went to college if I knew how to do YouTube. And this was 2012. So imagine if I had hopped on YouTube in, in 2012, 10 years ago. 11 years ago, really. You know, imagine if I had learned how to edit and stuff 11 years ago. But I just didn't know none of this stuff. You know, I'm kind of late on everything, but I'm still glad that I'm picking it up and, 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 and learning how to do it, you know? And my life right now is good, man. I live a good life, bro. Like a good life, I can't complain about nothing, man. I got me a, a beautiful woman, smart woman, you know, a woman that I know loves me. I got two sisters that are very smart, you know, very smart and beautiful as well. Got a mom that loves me, you know, she, she, she always, the best thing I hear all the time is when she tells me I'm, she's thankful for all I do for her, you know? And I'm thankful for all she does for me, but when your mom says she's thankful for everything you do for her, man, that's another feeling. Another feel, that's a great feeling that nobody even, you can't even put into words, man. Because as a young man, that's all you want to do is make your mama proud, man. And the fact that I'm able to do that even without, like, being a millionaire or without any money in my pocket, you know, it still feels good, man. It still feels good. I'm able to help my dad, you know, when he needs it. You know? That's really all I need in life is just everybody being good and me being good. That's it, really. I don't really need nothing else. As long as I don't got no problems, I'm all right. That's the only thing I don't want. I don't want no problems, man. I don't want no, any problem that comes my way, I want to be able to solve it. You know, I don't want nothing that I can't handle, but that's life though. Life gonna throw you all these curveballs and stuff, so. 
It's just, shit ain't easy, man. Shit ain't easy. But right now, I don't got nothing to complain about. The only thing I can complain about is I'm about to turn 29 next month. And I thought by this time, at 29, I thought I'd be rich, man. I thought I'd be fucking filthy rich, bro, living a life. And I see other 29-year-olds that live the life that I want to live. You know what I'm saying? Because I travel the world, you know, I live a good life and stuff, but there's just certain things that I just, I wish I could do, but I can't, you know? Some things I wish I could get my whole family on a, on a plane and just take them to some island and spend a lot of money and come back, bills. I got bills, man, I can't. The only thing I can do is make sure everybody's bills is paid or try my best. But that's it, man. I wish I could just do a bunch of stuff, but shit just costs too much, man. So I just need, I need another way to be successful because the college thing didn't work out, man. It didn't. Even if you get a job, like, Another, even if I get another job, like it's not gonna, it's not gonna do it for me. I need something that fulfills me. Like when I do YouTube, man, I'm so happy. I mean, look at this shit, man. I'm watching the sunset with the water splashing, you know, planes flying over. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, this is nice, man. This is nice. I can't, this is the type of stuff I like doing. This is the type of stuff I like doing. So hopefully this can this can be how I make it. Because I done tried the college shit, man. That shit ain't work. They got me a piece of paper and I owe the government a bunch of money. Just for going to school. So I'm I'm done with that shit, man. I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep my job just cause you know, if I keep working, I can retire when I'm 45. But who the fuck wants to wait till they're 45? You know? I don't want to wait till that long. I want to be able to do what I'm doing right now, man. Or do what I want to do right now. But I know that shit going to come. You know? I know it's going to come. It's just going to take time. But I know that shit going to come. It's just going to take some time.